Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, hidden features and settings for video of the IQ Neo 7. So guys, this is the frost blue color of the IQ Neo 7 in the 8GB or 8GB. So guys, let's get started. So guys, let's start from the most interesting features. So I'm just drawing an M over here. M. Now you can see instantly the music turned on. Now I'm drawing an E over here. E when the screen is locked. Now it would, be, it would be opening the Adobe benchmark. You can see instantly Adobe benchmark open. And if I just swipe down, it would be automatically open the photo. I've been camera application. You can see. So you can see how to turn on these features instantly. So first of all, just go to settings. And you can scroll down to find the option called shortcut and accessibility. Over here, you can find this option smart motion. And over here, you can see smart wake. So here is the entire set of which I have uh, turned on right now. So draw E, you can assign to any of the application which you are installed. So draw E, I am currently assigned to do benchmark. And draw M to play music. And swipe down to take a photo. And you can also have swipe up to unlock. And uh, swipe horizontally to change music are also available. So make sure you check it out. And then we have a screen on and off. There we can find the raise to wake, double tap to wake, and double tap to turn on and off. So you can see raise to wake is like this. When your phone is light on the table, just pick up the phone. Instantly the phone would be turned on. Are ready to see the magic without pressing any buttons i am gonna unlock my phone you can see i am not pressing any buttons i'm just lifting my phone up and instantly you can see it went to the home screen how does i set it up so uh, first of all i just go to a uh, uh, shortcut accessibility and i just turn on the smart motion and over here i just smart on and off i have already enabled raise to wake and then what i have done is just again go i just went to the settings and then i just go and went to the security and enable the face recognition and and I have turned off stay on lock screen after unlocking. So what happens is when my phone is lifted up, it would be raised to wake would be activated and uh, uh, lock screen would be turned on. And automatically when the face is detected and it would be automatically directly go to the home screen. So that is what I have done just right now. And let's go back to the same area. So settings and again go to the shortcut accessibility and into the smart motion. So these are the areas which we covered. And then shake to turn on flashlight is also activated. You can either turn on in the home screen or the lock screen. So I'm just uh, doing it in the home screen. So you can see that's it. Now let's look at this common features. That is S capture, just three finger swipe would give the screenshot. And next is smart split. That means two apps at one screen. So along with, you can see, Chrome along with maps at the exact same time. You can see both at the exact same time. So that is the smart. So next is the quick action. That means if you want to press and hold down the volume bar down button, it would be assigned to any of this. I can set to any of the application which you have installed. You can see any of the application or some shortcuts like turn on flash or the camera. So I will just assign you the camera for the moment right now. And I'm just loading the phone and I'm just uh, press and hold the volume down button like this. And you can see instantly the camera is getting opened. So that is really quick. So let me go back to the area. That was the quick action. Now let's go back. And then it has some uh, face beauty for video call, flash notifications, and just keeping those and uh, opening the one handed mode. So this can be accessed with a mini gesture like this. So just turn it. It would be an invert swipe in, swipe out. Swipe in, swipe out. It can be done at a really fast. You can see swipe in, swipe out. See, and you can resize by just tapping over here, resize and all. And if you want to just close, just close. It will be up here in the normal screen. Okay, so that was it in the shortcut accessibility. Now the next thing is in the system. That means currently you can see I am using the button navigation. How to switch to the gesture navigation. Just tap on the system navigation over here. And then just tap gesture navigation. Gesture navigation is really cool. Just swipe on the right corner or the left corner for the back. Just swipe up for the home and swipe up and stop at the middle for the reasons and I will just show you so I'm just opening a few applications and how to switch between the apps is the most interesting part so suppose if I'm in the Chrome and I need to switch apps like I am scrolling photos in the uh, gallery you can see see this is really convenient see switching between the apps is really easy you can see so that's it and you can see still you can see that you can have a gesture guide but how to disable that to to make an immersive experience so again going to the system and system navigation over here and you can see height bottom bar just turn on that too so you are getting an immersive display experience over here and now again we are going to the settings and we are now gonna look at the about phone and you can see the ram is 8 plus 8 so how to set that Currently it is the 8 GB, 120 GB, but you can see 8 plus 8 GB of RAM. So first of all, just go to the RAM and storage option over here. And you can see RAM. 
as you can see uh, the ram can be expanded up to 8 gb so internal 8 gb ram plus the external ram if your storage is important for you just disable that then your storage 8 gb would be added back to your internal storage 128 gb okay now let's go to the ultra game mode where the maximum game features lies so starting off from the eagle eye enhancement which gives maximum color vibrancy as well as the maximum sharpening for the games within the games and then we have the 4d game version which gives a haptic feedback from the areas which we for example the shooting and all and then we have sound quality effects then we have the frame rate priority settings then we have the uh, control settings which have some uh, controls and then i would be for the demonstration i would be showing uh Nundu benjamin for a quick demonstration and i will show you this is the area and make sure you use the monster mode while you are in gaming and then we have a motion control that means when while you are in a shooting games so you can assign left right and if you do like on the left tilt or right tilt you can assign to any of the functions within the game like shooting games and all so that would be really awesome and you can control this stuff from here too okay so that was it in regarding the ultra game mode and now let's go back to the display areas so you can see the display display and brightness and i'm starting off from the screen colors so currently it would be set to the default and for the maximum vibrancy you should switch to the bright for the maximum vibrancy and then we have the next option called a screen refresh rate so you can either have a, a smart switch or you can directly put the 120 hertz to working really smooth all the time and i think smart switch is also working perfectly fine and then we have visual enhancement you should turn on while playing the videos as well as uh, contents from gallery and all it would be enhance your images okay and then we have the dark theme over here you can see dark theme and we have the eye protection mode which should enable for those who uses the phone in their room without light and all okay so that was it next is regarding the security and we are going to start off from the privacy and app conclusion that means the app lock app hide and all so i would be setting a pattern for the so this is my pattern so i am just uh, some answering some random answers okay and then we have app encryption is the app lock and app hiding is the app hide so i'm just typing app encryption that means the app lock and i am just locking the amazon for the moment right now and now if i just open the amazon where is everyone's phone you can see the app it is locked and if once i just tap the pattern you can see it unlocked and you can see it would be asking for the next time you want to enable your fingerprint of instructions so you can either cancel or turn on okay i just turn on for the moment and it will be confirm my pattern sorry okay it's done so facial recognition enabled okay now but the next time when i open the amazon it would be opened without any uh, uh security so how to disable that means each and every time while i open the logged application should be logged even if i close the application so how to just go to the uh, security so security you can see the privacy at an app encryption and just uh, take the app, app encryption and you can see app lock type just tap over here and you should currently it is one minute after the app is closed or the app is closed you should switch to when the screen is locked or the app is closed now what happens is amazon I unlock with my face closed again opening amazon again locked again once again again opening amazon again so each and every time when you open the application it would be closed by default okay so each and every time while you open the amazon application and closing immediately the app kit automatically gets locked so that was it regarding the app impression now let's uh, go back to the app hide so i am gonna hide first of all i'm gonna hide the cpu to test so i am just hiding the cpu to test for the moment right now and if i check over here you could not see the application how to view that application it would be on over here itself so you can see app hiding just tap over here and view hidden app swipe up with two fingers on the home screen so i am just turn on i am just swiping up with my two fingers and you can see currently it will ask for my face authentication and you can see the hidden app so it's really easy so and again if you want to disable this application and just go back to there and disable the application so that was it regarding the app lock as well as the app right now the next thing is regarding the app clone or dual app so it is it would be in the app section apps you can see the app clone just tap over here and all the supported apps which can be used as a dual app in your phone would be listed over here just tap over here and it would be activated linkedin one and linkedin two or snapchat one and snapchat two okay uh, so that was it and next is regarding the notification history. that means if someone if a third party sends you a note mess whatsapp message and it would it is received on your phone and then after that that third party deleted that message for everyone but no need to worry just open the notification history just turn on this 
Now what happens is from the current moment even whenever any notification is cleared by yourself that means if you just take an, and if I suppose this was an important notification but as I hurry I just cleared all but actually no need to worry so you can see I just again open notification you can see one the exact notification with the timestamp would be appear over here so no need to worry so the same thing the whatsapp message which were deleted for everyone would be appear over here uh, without with the timestamp so next is the log screen wrap up. So you can see first of all the always on display just turn over here and you can see the all the styles customization which is available would be over here. You can uh, choose it in your own way and when to show that means display all day or schedule display from time to time from this time to this time only show or you can also set it to move the phone slightly to show then it will be consumed very less better. That means when your phone is idle it won't show and if I just flick or phone just take your phone or raise your phone instantly it would be showing so that is also really convenient and the next thing is regarding themes you can download from the theme store and all then we have wallpaper sections which you can also make use of and then we have the ui color you can change the colors and also you can see this color would be changes rapidly okay so and you can have some wallpaper palette palette like options wallpaper palette like options also available like the one ui and all and then we have the lock screen settings which we have lock screen poster so let me enable for the moment right now and you can have the subscription type it means each and every time while we uh, show the lock screen it would be giving random wallpapers that means dynamically wallpaper would be changed each and every time so it would be avoid the boring when you open this phone and all and then we have the lock screen styles and all which we can customize a bit and then we have the left shortcut and right shortcut like this you can see this is the left this is the right shortcut and then we have add text on lock screen my favorite is code is plow so I just saved and now you can see God is love the log it would be on the log stream so that is it and then I am again going back to the home settings and you can see few of options over here and you can see swipe downwards on home screen is currently on global server. that means if you are using with the one hand and then you need to adjust your phone and then you need to drag the notification but no need to worry just again go to the option log screen and wallpaper and then select the home settings and then swipe downwards on home screen just tap on the over here and switch to notification center now what happens is just swipe down instantly your notification panel will be there so, so that's is really cool and convenient okay so just go back so that was the home screen settings which is available over there okay Next is regarding the dynamic effects, that means entire customization, that means enhancing the dynamic effects, then touch screen animation, then ambient light effect. Ambient light effect is the thing that means it gives almost a vibe of edge panel. You can see a light effect for notification, that means each and every time what we uh, ask, uh, that means receiving an incoming notification, it would be, you can assign its uh, effects, transparency, width and duration, so that it would be really cool. It would be feel like you are using an edge screen phone and all. So that was it regarding the dynamic effects. And then we have, uh, let's go back to the dynamic effect itself. So that was the ambient light effect. It can be also done on calls as well as the notifications. Okay, so you make sure you check it out. Then we have the home screen animations, that means transition animation and all, like a third party Nova launcher and all and then we have home screen entering animation so you can you can have multiple options you can try it out and then we have the fingerprint icon animation fingerprint unlocking animation well, and then face section animation so you have tons of animation for the entire customization along with the charging usb insert and screen of animation and that's it next is regarding the camera and let's start from you have a night mode over here which here we can have the panorama night and then here we have the tripod options over here and we have the portrait on portrait we have the styles over here filters over here and then we have the face uh, effects over here and then we have the aperture adjustment over here in the portrait and then we have the night as well as hdr in photo you can see here uh, we are having the super macro mode and all hdr mode and then video you can see it how the ultra resolution at 1080p at 60 fps and standard resolution at 4k at 60 fps you can see Sorry, 4K at 30 FPS would be having the standard stabilization you can see and 4K at 60 FPS, no stabilization is available. And then we have a vlog mode, wow. It have a few of the templates which is available for direct application at all. Then we have the 60 form dedicated mode. Then we have the panoramic, so slow motion, time lapse, pro mode for manually adjusting the aperture ISO and white balance. And then let's go back. And then we have the sports mode and dual view with, we can record friend as well as say back at the same time on recording. Then we have the documents. Okay, so that was it regarding the quick tips, tricks, and features and settings for the video of the IGNews one. So guys, that's it for today. Signing off. It's for Mania.